They don't like you because you don't fall in line and appease their ego. And to them, that is a major sign of disrespect they won't take. All right. There are people out there, all right, specifically narcissistic people, all right, that have this idea of themselves. And if you don't feed into it, what they're going to do is they're basically going to treat you like you have done them some type of wrong. All right. These are people who have the idea about themselves where they call it a, a, a grandiose personality. All right. They have an idea of themselves that they're larger than life. And if anyone doesn't feed into this ego, then basically you're 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 not going to be the type of person that this individual cares for, wants anything to do with, respects, acknowledges And it's all because that you're not appeasing to their ego. All right. They have a very fond version of themselves in their own head. These are the types of people who you you primarily see this. I've recognized it mostly. Well, I can't really say that. I'll just give some examples of age groups that I've recognized it in. So that way I could better explain it. All right. This is the type of mindset to where you have an older person And they want some recognition for something that they haven't done. All right. You know, you'll have people who are making a name for themselves or people who are doing something for themselves. Or you'll you'll have some people who, you know, some some younger people or just people in general. You know, they primarily try to push this onto younger people because they feel that they can get it off because they are a quote unquote elder. But in order to be an elder, it has to be something that you've done. You can't just classify yourself as an elder. It has to be something that you've done, some type of work that you've put in, all right, in order to, you know, whether even if you just helped one person, even if you just advised one person, you know, you could be a manager at a restaurant and, and be hiring people so that, you know, they can they can have a job. You know, that that's enough to classify you as an elder. You, you could have uh, written a book. You could have read a whole bunch of books and now you just, you know, are, are helping people, whatever it is. It's got to be something that you're doing. You, it, it can't just be something that you, a title that you give to yourself or put on yourself. All right. That's primarily why one of the reasons that, you know, I liked to help people because, it's like it's something that you can do. It's not just something that you're trying to be looked at as. It's something that you could actually do to have an impact on a person's life. So you'll have people who have made zero impact on a person's life, all right? And and, and even if they have made an impact, it's not the type of impact that's worth any type of degradation or any type of, you know, validation to a certain extent, all right? Maybe to... A certain extent it is, but not to like the the extent of any recognition to where, you know, the person could be looked at as a way to where they weren't being egotistical, if, if, if that makes sense, if I didn't lose you there. All right. So it's like you'll have people who have not earned their credits, but they want a degree. All right. It's, it's like you have people who have not earned their credits but they want a degree, all right? Nobody deserves any kind of credit without having, you know, or no, any, any kind of degree without having their credits earned. So it's like you can't expect people to look at you a certain type of way if you don't deserve to be looked at that way, all right? People are going to be looking at you like you're nuts. Nobody's going to want to look at you like you're a doctor if you, you know didn't go to school to put in the work, but you'll have people who feel this way about themselves. They think they're this, they think they're that. And you'll have you'll have people who will look up to them like they are something, even though it's not much that they've done, or you know, the type of person that they are. And even if they have made some great achievements, it all boils down to the type of person that you are. You you could achieve everything under the sun, but if you're still a a, a ratchet, or you're still a a negate, negativity, you know, type of person, then it really doesn't say much about you. You're just this person who's accomplished all these goals, but you're negative as I don't know what. All right. So you'll see this attitude in older people where, you know, they'll um, basically force people to look at them a certain kind of way because of how they 
they hold themselves or like the type of way they see themselves. And that's a positive thing to see yourself a certain kind of way, but not to the detriment of other people. All right. You're supposed to see yourself a certain kind of way, even if nobody looks at you uh, any kind of way. All right. And this is why, you know, they come off all tough, but they're really fragile. All right. They're truly fragile. This is why they go around putting down everybody and, and, and making trying to make people feel bad about themselves because they are fragile. When you don't look at them the way they want you to look at them, that's when they start with the put downs. That's where they start with the um, the, the downgrading. That's where they start with the downsizing, just putting you down any kind of way, because it's like they want you to they, they want you to feel how they feel. And they want you to be on the level that they're on. We've already known this, but it's to the point to where it's because you're not bringing them up. So if you're not upholding them and their eyesight the way they see themselves, if you're not appeasing to their ego, that brings them down. So what do they have to do? That's why they bring you down, because they really feel that, you know, they, maybe in their mind, they actually think that you're bringing them down. So it's like they, you know, they'll go tit for tat with you. And since they see this in their mind as actually what they're doing to you in all actuality, you know, they see you not recognizing them as what they would like to be seen as, as you putting them down. So that's why they'll put you down, even though you're someone who is someone to be seen as someone. So it's like you'll be working towards things and making achievements and they'll put you down, but they'll want you to lift them up while not doing anything and not being a good person. Who in their right mind is going to uplift a bad person in their mind? You know, a crazy person or someone that's just as evil or unaware or naive or asleep. You know, sometimes people are asleep and they're unaware of what's actually going on. You know, it took us a while to wake up. But when people have, when people, it's a difference between being asleep and it's a difference between participating. All right, those who participate, you know, maybe they have some time to grow. Maybe they have some growth because as the saying goes, anybody could change. But as far as we're concerned, there's like, you know, you have people who will participate and it kind of shows what type of person that they are. All right, because birds of a feather flock together. It's like if you weren't down with this type of behavior or you didn't have any of that in you, how could you possibly, you know, associate with it? All right, it's different than knowing, okay, maybe I shouldn't be doing this. And then you find out this isn't something you're supposed to be doing because it doesn't feel right, like gossiping or, you know, talking about people behind their back. Once you get to a certain level of maturity, you're like, okay, that's enough. This this isn't a good thing. This is This is bad. This is really bad. This is wrong, actually. I, I shouldn't be doing this. All right. So especially, you know, people who are gossiping, backbiting, slandering other people. These are the same people that want you to raise them up and put them on, put them on some type of pedestal in your mind. All right. And it's all because you're not. All right. So that's how you see it in, in older people. It's like they want, you know, people to recognize them as something or look at them as achieving something or accomplish something. But in all actuality, what have they actually accomplished? What have they actually achieved besides, you know, putting others down, being rude, um, not accepting other people because other people may not accept this grandiose idea they have about themselves. And it's, it's actually sickening to see, you know, other people actually feed into this. This is why it's good to not pay attention to it because it's sickening to see people, you know, know that they're bad people, but, you know, they'll all smile in each other's face and pretend that they're, you know, good people and the and the and the best person to know or the best person around and, and actually make you feel like it's something wrong with you because you're what? You're not appeasing to their ego. All right. So they're looking at you up here and trying to bring you down to where they're at because you don't put them above yourself. And when people like this see you above them, they're going to want you to put them above you. They're going to want you to put them above you. They're going to want you to treat them better than you treat yourself. And this is why, you know, you'll actually, you know, feel like, you know, you actually feel that this is what they want you to do. You can actually feel that they want you to like talk them up or, or big them up or speak them up. And it's like, it's unnecessary. 
it's unnecessary. No one has to do that for anyone and no one should do that for anyone, you know, unless they deserve it. Only person that's worthy of praise straight up out of nowhere is, is God, is the most high. That's it. Anybody else that's trying to get praise from you or make you worship them, you know, that's that, that's that, that's that uh, Luciferian uh, satanic mind state. You know, and a lot of people are walking around with that that type of mind state, that mental state to where they, they want somebody to worship them and bow down to them. You know, um, acknowledgement is good enough. You know, a, a good job is good enough. You know, people who are normal, people who, you know, don't require, you know, other people's, you know, praise and worship. You know, a lot of people may look at me and be like, oh, what are you talking about? You got a whole channel. It's a channel to where. You know, I put positive messages out and people are just letting me know that the message resonated with them or how they feel about it. It's not so much about me. It's about the message. It's about God. And it's about the, the things that, you know, he has me say. But other than that, I, it, it ain't about me. All right. It's way bigger than me, obviously. All right. But for the sake of, you know, other people in their opinion, the people who, you know, are all about themselves, they're the ones that, that call other people other people egotistical. And it's like they're always trying to flip the script. They're always trying to point the finger. They're always trying to project. All right, so when you see the spirit on younger people, it's basically the same thing, but they'll want someone to see them as cool. They'll, they'll be forcing their cool on other people. All right, and it's the same thing. Like you'll have people that will put other people down for no reason, clown someone for no reason, make fun of someone for no reason. And sometimes, or if not all the time, it's usually the person that has potential or that has a chance or that's getting ahead or the chosen one or, you know, the person that is really talented or gifted in a specific area or right, someone that has a level of expertise that outshines those around them. All right. So keep outshining those around you. But, you know, they're still not going to like you. All right. Because you don't fall in line and that's OK. You're not supposed to conform. You don't need other people to like you. All right. Hyenas run in crowds. All right. Hyenas run in crowds. All right. Lions hunt alone. Hyenas run in crowds. All right. So you'll have a whole bunch of hyenas in a crowd. People who hang out in groups, people who, you know, are always, you know, big up each other in these groups. All right. A lot of people that hang out in groups are fake. A lot of people who, you know, are, oh, you're cool. You're cool. You know, it's like they're just airing each other's head up and it's nothing wrong with that. But when they do it to make themselves feel better than other people or to do it to in a way to where it's going to put somebody else down, that's unacceptable. You know, and you shouldn't accept it. You shouldn't accept that type of behavior from anyone. All right. You know, especially if they're doing it to exclude you or someone else to make them feel bad or low because this person obviously is doing better than them in life. So when you're doing better than people in a certain area of life, I don't even care if this person is, is wealthy and rich and you know, you're not, you don't have as much as them, but it's certain areas of your life where you're doing better than them. People will still, you know, feel some type of way about that. As we all know, people will still get jealous of you, even though, you know, they have everything that a person could could want or need, but they still actually find the need to, to want what you have as well. It's like what they have is not good enough. And that's their problem because they can't be grateful. They can't find gratitude. And that that's the root of it. They cannot find anything good about themselves. All right. Without someone else having to point it out without someone else having to to, you know, constantly keep validating them and constantly keep telling them how great they are and how smart they are, you know, how intelligent they are. And it's like a, a lot of people, you know, people like there are people who don't need compliments that accept them and that are very grateful that they get them. And then there are people who like force compliments. It's like if you don't give them a compliment, you're their enemy. If you don't, you know, big them up, you're not their friend. If you don't make this person uh, a god to you, then, you know, you're the devil to them. Like, these are the types of things that, you know, they do. This is the dynamic that they set up between you and them because it's all for control and it's all to manipulate. And they actually try to make you feel bad about yourself for being great. They try to make you feel bad about yourself for wanting more out of life. They try to make you feel bad about yourself for going above 
and beyond, all right, for trying to reach the finish line with flying colors. You don't just want to pass the finish line. You want to uh, roll roll uh, down the finish line. Uh, uh, what's, what's he say? Uh, swing down, sweet cherry top, and let me ride. You want to swing down the sweet cherry top and ride your way to success, and I ain't mad at you. <laughs> All right, so, you know, of course, they're not going to like you because you don't conform. It's good to not conform. Why would you want to conform to a bunch of fake snake activity fake snake activity fake activity and snake activity two activities that you don't want to conform to the only activity you want to conform to is positivity not fake activity not hate activity not snake activity not negativity the only activity you want is positivity all right so even when things do get negative you want to be able to be in the mind state to where you could quickly go up at once and turn that into a positive reality for yourself or a positive situation for yourself. All right. Because there are going to be plenty of people that get upset because you're not, you know, making them a God to you. You're not putting them above you. Only person that is above you is Christ. The only person that is above you is the most high. Anything other than that, you know, it, it, it serves no governance and it has no governance in your life. All right. These people want to reign supreme in your life. All right. They, they want to basically, you know, control you, basically treat you like a dog. All right. All right. A, a lot of people think, you know, they have pets out here, but, you know, they, they're treating people like pets. A lot of people think they got pets out here, but they're, you know, as friends, your friends, pe people, you shouldn't be looking at your friends as pets or, or, you know, pawns or things that you control or people that you control. All right, people that are beneath you, like anybody that's with me is on the same level as me or better. You know, only a loser wants somebody to be beneath them. You know, winners want people that are also winners, especially people who are doing better than them. So that way, you know, they could get to a higher level in life. You look at that video the other day with Jay-Z looking like he was uh, walking to save his life, you know. Nah, he was just going for a, a money walk. That's the money walk. All right, shout out to Jay-Z. He was going on, on a walk with some billionaires, you know, like they're probably richer than he is, or he might be richer than them. They might be seeking his counsel. You never know. He was out in front, all right? <laughs> but uh, anyway, yeah, so it's like uh, uh, other people, right, they want you to look at them like God, basically, because they see how you, you look at God. And they feel that they are God. All right. They probably tell themselves this on an occasional basis. I am God. And it's like to a certain extent you are because, you know, God created us. And it says that we are God's children of the most high. But it's not from a, a vain point of view to actually make somebody worship you. All right. That's not what it's about. It's about you being God is about recognizing that you're one with the infinite. You're one with the most high. And, you know, you're supposed to be walking in, in, in Christ's footsteps. You're supposed to be walking in as a manifestation of him on this earth and living your life as a manifestation of him and everything else that comes along and goes along with that. You're supposed to be working towards a level of, of righteousness and completeness and wholeness within the most high and the Holy Spirit. All right. Not only does it sound good, but it feels good. All right. So when you are, you know, reaching these more spiritual states, you're going to unfortunately, you know, have to deal with the lower vibrational entities and energies that are still around you trying to get your attention. Like, hey, where are you going without us? You know, it's a it's a pull down on the physical level. And it's also a pull down on the spiritual level as far as you uh, getting ahead, you breaking generational curses you getting out of the matrix, you know, you just leveling up spiritually, mentally, physically, there are going to be pull downs and things that are opposing of your success, your progress and your achievements. So while you're actually working towards becoming something, you're going to have people who know you, people who are who have been in your life, people who look down on you because, you know, they live in the same neighborhood as you, people who think people who think you're being uh, high and mighty or holier than thou, you know, people who are trying to startle you and just do weird things to try to get your attention because they see you working to a level that they're not going to uh, get to if they're not working to it. 
if they're, and you know, so it, it is what it is. Like people want you to praise them and lift them up just so they can feel good about themselves when you're supposed to be doing that for yourself. All right. You're supposed to be praising you. You're supposed to be worshiping you along with God, of course. But as far as you lifting yourself up, this that's a, a personal job. That's an inside job. You're not nobody's cheerleader. You know, you, 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 you may be into motivation. You may be into upliftment. But it's like if a person is going to go about it in a way to where they want you to lift them up just so they could be above you, then it's like nobody's going to support, you know, nobody's going to support their own um, manipulation. All right. Nobody's going to support their own manipulation. Nobody's going to give somebody an aid or a hand in manipulating them, you know, if, if they're aware of it anyhow. But don't look at people like they're better than you just because that's what they want. All right. The, these types of people, they want you to see them as being better than you when nobody's better than anybody. But just because of how they look at you, they expect you to put them above yourself. All right. They, they see that you may be better than them in some kind of way or maybe they're insecure and they feel you're better than them in some kind of way. Either way, they're they're dealing with this in their head and it's like you have nothing to do with it, but they have the nerve to want to call you crazy. They're creating situations for themselves to not like you, right? To have a problem with you, to have an issue with you. Oh, they think they're this, they think they're that. When no, it's that it's them projecting. You're not thinking anything. You're just trying to be peaceful and, and not have any problems. But you have certain people who, you know, they don't care about that. And because you're not looking at them like the the next closest thing to Christ, you know that and and you know you're not uplifting them or kissing their, you know, their behind or, or, or bigging them up or appeasing to their ego. They feel that you're a threat. All right. If you don't acknowledge them, then why should anybody else, if you don't recognize them as the same, the same way, the same thing, the same person as everyone else, why should everybody else? So it's like, this is why you'll have people who have problems with you at jobs in groups in organizations in your neighborhood, at places that you stay, because it's like a hierarchy where, you know, it's levels of respect. But the thing is to get respect, you have to give respect. How is a person that's not bothering anyone or trying to cause any trouble not giving respect? Respect is staying out of the way. If a person's worthy of acknowledgement, acknowledging them. And if not, you stay out the way. You don't have anything bad to say about them. You don't have anything bad to do to them or whatever. And you just go about your day. But for most people, that's not enough. All right. They, they want you to roll out the red carpet and, and kiss their feet and worship the ground they walk on all because you're the one that's worthy of praise, all because you're the one that's working towards, you know, being a, a better person, becoming their greatest version. You're the one that that is, is committing good acts and good works. Of course, they're going to want you to put them up or to lift them up. All right. They're always going to come and try to do something to distract you. They're always going to come and try to do something to bother you. They're always going to try to come do something to get in your way because they know that progress is something that you need. They know that progress and, and whatever you're working towards is very important. So they have to try to stop you and get in the way because the, the hate that they have inside is too strong. So they don't, uh, it, it doesn't allow themselves to have any love for who they are. So what they have to do is they have to try to bother the person that's working towards a certain level of enlightenment, a certain level of self-love, because this person is going to reach a certain height that this person won't. And it's making them extremely jealous. So they have to, you know, be petty and, and be antagonizing and take out how they feel on you because you're not going to put them above you and you're doing things and working on yourself that's eventually going to put you ab above a higher level on a higher level which is above them all right because they're not on that level they have no hopes of being on that level or working towards that level they just want somebody to you know they just want to be false identified they're cool with that all right the ego is the false self they want to be false identified they don't mind that as long as they could be identified they don't care if it's false all right they, they want people to look at them how they feel and when you don't, you're the enemy. All right. You're individually, you're supposed to see yourself, how you feel about yourself or feel how you you're supposed to feel how you see yourself. All right. However you think about yourself, that's how you're going to feel. 
Uh, it's, it's not somebody else's job to try and change how you feel or how you think about yourself, but they expect you to. All right. So it's nothing that you've done wrong. It's nothing that you have to do. This, these people are soft. All right. They have the nerve to call somebody soft, but they're the ones who, who are the softest. The minute someone doesn't look at them the way they feel that that they should be looked at, they're ready to put you down and, you know, be petty and go back and forth and do tit for tat. All right. So that explains all that. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Smash the like button. Smash the share button. Shout out to all the nosy people. I'll see you. In the, not any of my subscribers, not anybody watching this video, but, you know, I, I, th th there might be somebody listening outside the door or something. So I just want to include them. Uh, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.